Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five big reasons why you might not be performing as well as you can as a business dad. With each of the reasons, I'm going to give an actionable tip to help you and support you in this journey. My name is Lee Eldridge. I am a human performance coach and I have spent the last two decades working with elite athletes and business professionals in multiple different industries, helping them to perform. In November 2020, I had what I call my daddy, daddy, daddy moment, where my daughter was screaming at me to play over, but I was so wrapped up in thinking about how to go about improving my business, how about to get more clients, how about to add more value to the people that I was already working with. And I was missing the whole point of why I wanted to create a business. I haven't been making as many videos as possible over the last year or so. That's because lots has been happening in my life, moving back to the UK. My son is growing up now. He's kind of getting to nearly two. So lots been going on. And the five big reasons I'm going to talk about today with you, they really resonate with me. There are struggles that I go through on a daily basis. They're things that sometimes I get right and sometimes I get wrong. But I've found certain things that I do to support those areas and I really want to share with them today. So let's start with number one. And I've interviewed lots of different business dads over the course of the last couple of years and one person in particular mentioned this phrase and it's stuck with me for a long time. It's called the juggle struggle. As a business dad, we are juggling so many balls it's ridiculous. We're looking after businesses, we might be employing people, have contractors, we're trying to find new clients, we're prospecting, we're creating content, we're doing outreach to one side. Then we're a dad, you know, we're trying to raise the best children as possible, we're trying to be there for them, we're trying to support them in every area they need to become the best human that they can become. Then sometimes we might have a partner and we've got to support them and help them and have a, a loving and caring relationship with them. But then there's also us, you know, we've got to look after ourselves. Self-care is a big area that we're all talking about today. So there are lots of things that are overwhelming us because we're just trying to juggle them. And you're probably sat there thinking, well, hey, nothing new there. So one thing that I have done, which has really helped me is a matrix of urgent and important. Eisenhower's matrix of importance and urgent, and that's really helped me to sit down and say, right, okay, what are the big, urgent, important things I need to do on a daily basis? I create some time in the day, I block out that time, whether it might be the first 90 minutes of the day, wherever it suits you, and I work on that. And that gives me a great sense of feeling that, you know, I am moving forward that, okay, yep, I am juggling lots of balls, but at least I've got this one ball sorted out and completed. So I strongly suggest the best way to do that is to get your diary calendar out onto your laptop, print it out and just get a highlighted pen, you know, basically red, amber, green if you wanted to, and just go through red as being urgent, important stuff. And basically just have a look at a little bit of an audit of seeing what you can do. And this is by far one of the best things that I've done. Point number two, a mindful disconnect. Being in a business or running a business, it's very easy to be connected all the time. Feeling that you need to follow up on phone calls, on leads, speak to people all the time. What happens is then we come home, from work or the business, and sometimes it can be very difficult to disconnect and actually be present or engage with our children. And loads of people have spoke about this, the fact that you can be in the room, but actually you're not even there, you're kind of miles away, you're thinking about different things. So one thing that I've done, and it works really well, is just before we are ever stepping back into the house or you know, turning off the laptop, whatever it might be, is just to do some simple breath work, okay? I love box, box breathing. I've created a video about that, links in the description, where basically we breathe in for a certain period of time, hold for a certain period of time, breathe out for a certain period of time, hold for a certain period. So we create a box. And for me, what happens is it just sets myself to be a bit more present with my children. 
and it takes a very small amount of time you know one two minutes you can do it in your car before you get in the house you can you know do it in the office whatever it may look like but it's just to have that kind of small period of blocking and knowing that actually look i'm moving from a role of being a business founder leader senior leader whatever that may look like into being a dad point number three putting too much pressure on ourselves Human beings are designed to improve. We are striving to get better. Doesn't matter who you are, most people are trying to do some form of improvement. Whether that's the smallest thing or to really, really big things, it doesn't really matter. And as dads, we are very good on humping loads of pressure on ourselves to be successful, to earn a certain amount of money, to have a turnover, to employ a certain amount of people, whatever that might look like from a business point of view, from a health point of view, you know, to do a marathon at a certain time, to look a certain way. It doesn't really matter. We have these self-imposed pressure. Now, do not get me wrong, you know, and everyone's going to be sat there thinking, oh, you know, I need to be driven. I need to, to graft. I need to put in all the hours to get to where I want to be. And that is true. The problem is, and this is from loads of evidence of research and speaking to business dads is that the stats say that we spend around 75 percent of our whole time with our kids up until the age of seven from there it just depletes and it's something like five percent from the age of 18 until the time we die so a huge portion of time is spent when our children are young and it is a vital time to support them and to work them. So if we're piling all this pressure on to be driven, to be driven, to, to go, 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 obviously what happens is that we can't do everything at once. If you're working those 18 hours a day, the chances are you're not gonna be sending much time with your kids when they really need you the most. So by releasing that pressure around the business, releasing that pressure around what others are doing, what your competitors look like really helps you to to work on that and that's my one big thing for there is to really sit down and define what success looks for like you and what do i mean by that is success is not a number of how much you earn success is you as an individual okay so we are lots of different things you know we are business people we're dads wives husbands partners brothers, sons, might be semi-professional athletes or might be athletes, we're lots of things. So I have seen time and time again, business dads have very, very successful professional lives. But when you go home or when you look at them, they're really struggling in other areas. And ultimately, that success in that one area is unsustainable without the other areas in your life. So just stop and think to yourself, right, what does success look like for me? Point number four, you lack a clear vision. Very similar to success, if you do not have a vision, if you do not understand where you want to be in five or 10 years, what that looks like, what that feels like, what that sounds like, you're gonna struggle. We need to take time to create that vision. And you might think, oh, well, affirmations, manifestations, blah, blah, blah. But my biggest question that I ask a lot of the people I work with is, how do you know when you have become successful? How will you define yourself and how will you understand when you've reached what you want to reach? So by creating this clear vision, you are going to be able to make better decisions and be able to set goals. I find it really interesting that people set goals without really setting their vision. So you're working towards these things, you're working to achieve you know, numbers in your business, numbers in your health, all these different areas. You don't actually know if that's leading you to where you want to be. It's like climbing a mountain but not really planning your route and getting halfway up and realizing you've gone the wrong directions you're going to come all the way down to go all the way back up again please take time to create that vision once you've created it as specific as possible 
You know, where will you be? Where will you be living? What will the people be like around you? Who will you be reacting with? Who you'll be interacting with? All those different things. Once you get clear, you can spend two, three, five, twenty, an hour sat down and really getting into it and really visualizing it. And it will become easier and it'll become simpler. But that is a big key to, with all the people I work with. Point number five, and probably the most important point, going solo. Men in general are pretty poor, let's be fair, at asking for help or reaching out to somebody or working in a group or talking in a group about their challenges. Men are designed to be this strong, you know, powerful individual, and I agree with that, but there needs to be opportunities to be vulnerable. And with that vulnerability brings great amount of strength. And sharing that with other people and them turn around saying, yep, yeah, I feel the same, or I understand what you're going through is hugely, hugely powerful. And I believe this is one of the main reasons why men's mental health is such a big issue and it's such a big problem is because we don't talk about our challenges. Now, there are lots of groups out there for business challenges, but majority of people in those groups, when I speak to them, they're like, do you know what? It really becomes personal quite quickly. And I'm like, well, there's no surprise because if you want to be consistent and you want to be successful in all areas, you've got to be willing to open up. So the big point about this one, or my big actual tip, is go out and find a group of people that you can talk to, you can share, and you can listen to other people's challenges. And we all have unique experiences that we can share. So go out and share those experiences because you might help somebody who's in the same boat as you maybe two years ago. And that is one of the best feelings, trust me, as a coach. It's the main reason why I coach is because Helping people and guiding people is such an amazing thing to do and it gives me such a great feeling that outweighs anything. I hope you really enjoyed these five reasons why you might not be performing. As I said, don't panic. Don't worry about that if you're not performing as best you can or if there's an area that you're struggling with, there's help out there. If you're interested, in the link in the description is a link to my business dad's test. It's about two minutes. It will give you a bit of guidance on all those different areas that I know through my years of experience and knowledge help with performance. Take the test, see how you get on. Remember, I'm always here if you need me. My email address is also in the link in the description. Feel free to drop me an email if you have any more questions. And my last point is, hopefully you've made it all the way to the end of this video. If you have, thanks so much for watching. My goal for this year, because I've been pretty rubbish last year, 2023, is to make one video per month. Not one per week, it just wasn't sustainable and I wasn't being very consistent yet. So if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about, if there's any area that you're interested in regarding being a business dad, drop me a comment, I'll go off and do some research and I'll make a video on it. Anyway, wishing you all the best for 2024 and I will speak to you soon.